Hello, thank you for joining me. What I'd like to show you in this film and this video is how to put a roof on in a Revit uh, model. Let's say you've gotten far enough in your model right now where you have windows and doors and floors and walls and stuff like that in your model. You're ready for the roof, but what you really need for the roof are just exterior walls. So if all you have uh, built so far are exterior walls, you're ready for a roof. One thing to keep in mind about the roof is you want to put the roof on a specific level, so you're going to have to create that level unless you have a single story house. So Revit provides you with level 1 and level 2 as uh, you know default uh, default uh, levels in um, you know in, in the Revit project when it starts you out and what I did is I created a roof level so how do you create a level and uh, w well let me show you let me show you if you go to one of your elevations north south west east uh, click on any of these elevations it gives you uh, the levels that are cut that come with that and we can take these levels and move them around a little bit. Let's uh, zoom in on it. It's always nice that for uh, the drawing, when you ultimately get to the drawing, you want to make sure that your uh, all your symbols are relatively close to the model, not too far out, because that just makes for a very big drawing view. It might be difficult for people to see. So how do you create a level? Right now I do have a roof that's already on a roof level, but if you want to create a level, as I mentioned before, if you press the control key down and drag the level line up, it creates a brand new level for you, and it gives you the ability to go in here and actually, you know, set the distance or rename it as you see fit. Just for demonstration, we'll call that roof two, and maybe instead of 29 feet, we're going to make it 30 feet. And that will do that. If you want that uh, level to move with the other levels, just make sure you have that padlock on. Okay. Let's go back. We have a roof level created. We have roof two. We're not going to use roof two. We'll just kind of keep it there for now. And then we're going to go back to level one and create our roof. Remember what I mentioned before in regard to the ribbon? If you work from the left to the right, it simply is a good progression in how to build your model. So in that, about a quarter of the way over, we're going to go to the roof button. And, um, mm hmm seems to be frozen here. Okay, there it goes. Click on the roof button. It's going to automatically default to, uh, a specific level or it's going to ask you which level you want to do and it's going to default to the level it's just above the one you're working from and for now we're just going to say no but let's go back to the roof button and take a look at it and this is a common error too I'm, I'm in the middle of trying to cancel out of my roof uh, function and if I go to the home tab everything's all grayed out and you're going to be scratching your head like what is going on here uh, what you want to do is look up in your top ribbon uh, tabs up here and take a look at what's going on uh, what we have is a green modify tab and it says create roof footprint. The reason you can't select any of these things is because if you go to that modify tab and click on that tab, uh, it's asking you to do one of two things. Either finish the roof boundary that's going to be defined by lines or just exit out of the command altogether. So it isn't really intuitive. Sometimes that's just sitting there in the background tripping you up and you're wondering what's going on. That's a good thing to look for and uh, it'll get you out of that. So we'll do this a little bit more on the next film. Uh, we'll go ahead and next that out and uh, join me for the next one.